that the fire we both made still burns a little in you. I wrote you every day. Did my letters find their way? Our messages on a screen. Two lovers in a mystic dream. Baby, come back to me. Come back to me. Too much time on my phone. Baby, do you still sleep alone? Baby, come back to me. Come back to me. Remember me. Fresh out of black and white. was a mystery Remember me Fresh out of black and white Movie Movie On every screen Would you realize What it meant for me Or was it mystery Hey guys, so um, yeah, that was a quick little playthrough of the song. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to play it and probably try to teach you in the most coherent and efficient manner. So as I play, I will show the chords right here or here. I don't know, I haven't decided. Composition, let's see. Um, so yeah, we'll go through the songs now. Okay, so covering the verse first. Um, we start off with a C major 7, so the shape looks like this, right? And uh, the next chord is a B minor 7, looks like this. And the next chord is a D minor 7, so it's on the 5th fret. And then the actual song, I think, um, you can play a C major again, or um, well, I like to play, to play it down here because you want a downward going progression. But what I like to do, um, and this is my own personal choice, um, I like to throw in a G bass at the top. So you get like a, you get more of a downward, um, like sound wise, musically, it sounds like it's going down more. So, and this chord I'll also list them. But it's basically this C shape, but with the G at the top. And that's it for the verse. Okay, so chorus is a little bit different, um, slightly trickier, but I'll go over it in a way I think you know makes sense. So generally, um, the chorus starts off the same way with a C major seven, right? goes back to the B minor but it also goes into an E mate E dominant right after so it goes and then A minor and then there's a walk there but you don't have to do that you could just go movie and then movie yeah yeah but um, the w reason why I like to do that is just because it, it kind of gives a feeling of like movement in the song. So you're still playing A minor shape, but all you're doing is is taking this shape, hitting the B for the bass instead of the A up here, and then the A, which is the C, and then D, D slash C. That's the first part of the chorus. The second time you play, on every screen, what would you realize? So everything's the same, right there. 
you go to A minor. And for me. And then this is where it gets kind of um, tricky. The chord changes a little strange, but it goes from this A minor to a G dominant seven, G seven sus two, I think. Now I play a lot with my thumbs because um, I have pretty big hands, I guess. But you know, you can figure out how to um, play this like, like this. So the chords might be a little bit more difficult for you to grab, but it should still be doable. These are all shapes that you can play. And that's it for the chords. Okay, so last part of this, um, I'm gonna teach a little riff thing that I play. So um, in the intro I go, and then, uh, and then right here, so it's a. So it's kind of hard to like tap out, um, but you're still playing the G. But essentially, what I'm doing right here is um, I'm barring this whole A, right, like an A, and then putting my my G bass right here. And then putting my um, ring finger on the fifth string, on on the the B or on the B string on the third fret. And then what you do with your pinky is you do a little hammer on right here. So. So right here, it's it's a little bit of a stretch. So you go. Um, Back to this. Yeah, I'll do my best to try to tap that part out, but it, it is something that's like a little bit more difficult. Um, but you don't have to be playing that. Um, this is just like the turnaround stuff that if you would like to add a little more flavor to your playing. Um, there's also a couple of things that you could do here. Like if you're playing a, a B minor, so it goes C major, B minor, you could do a hammer on. I play the whole bar like this, and then hammer on on the fourth string, nine, from seven to nine. And then we're here. Once again, you bar it first, and then hammer it on. Remember, this D minor, D minor seven, but you're just hammering on that last two notes. And all I'm doing is moving it off. And then That's it for the turnaround.